So I'm up and early on my way to go sub. Uh, I don't want to be up. My windows are foggy. Or not foggy, frosted. That's the word. Which sucks, but what are you gonna do about it? Damn winter. But I am headed. Hopefully my car warms up a little quicker. Um, I already locked my keys at once because I was like, oh, I'll start it. Not that I was gonna be starting it that early because I wasn't. So I started it and locked my keys in the car because when I start my car, it automatically locks and I had the door open. So yeah, I've done that before and not at home where I have an extra set of keys. So no two self don't do that anymore. Um, but yeah. This, uh, this getting up early crap sucks, but hey, the last time I subbed, it was dark out because before daylight savings time. So I mean, it is kind of nice that it's a little lighter in the morning because I can get going a little quicker, but that's about it. Uh, I just, I hate scraping my windows. Like in Michigan, my apartment, where my apartment was, I had a carport and that like kept them from getting frosted over. So, and before when I lived at home all the time, I used the garage. But now since my mom got a different car, she has taken it over. So, yeah. Got an SOL on that one, but, um, I'm very big truck. When I get to school, hopefully it'll be a quick day. I didn't vlog a lot yesterday because I didn't really do anything. I uh, just sat around the house, literally and did nothing. I played some, uh, I think it was called Strings or something. It's a new game by people make Cut the Rope, I believe, because it has a very similar look, like artistic wise. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty good game. It was on AppsCon 3. I like that app because it actually sends you a notification every day to remind you, hey, hey, you have new free apps, use me. Which I like because I don't remember. <laughs> so that is very nice of it to remind me. Uh, I don't know what we're doing this weekend. Hopefully some something. <laughs> Need something other than boredom. I guess I can go back and see Tiffany, which I would have no problem doing. My parents would come, probably could play no, I'm not home. Uh, I'm just ready to find a job. Uh, other than suit teaching. Or subbing. I like subbing, it's not bad. But it's not what I want to do, obviously. So I would have stopped at four years if I wanted to teach. Um, yeah, and I have, it was second grade today. I like second grade. What the heck is this? I like second grade. It's probably one of my favorites in elementary school just because, I don't know, they're at a good age then. They're not, like, they're still young. And, but, they're, and they, but they can do a lot more than they can in first grade. So, I, I don't know, I just like, there's a lot of different activities that you can do with them and that they understand and a lot. Like, just the stuff that you teach them in second grade is better. I don't know. That's been my favorite grade, probably, to teach. So that is a good thing. I don't even know who the teacher is. I'm subbing for. I've never heard of her. But it is the same school that I was at last time. So hopefully I won't get lost because it's a very confusing school to get around. So we'll see how that goes. I made a turkey. Well, I had to show the kids how to do it. Finally on my way home. The kids were great today. Like, no problem at all. I only think they had two kids that I had to move their little clip. But other than that, that's a great day for that. I consider that a great day. Especially when they have a sub and it's a Friday. You know, there's... I would think they would be more crazy. Which they weren't. They had plenty to do. It was good subbing experience. That was the Jackson that I remember. But they were, they were really good kids today. We got everything done that we needed to get done. They got their free time in the afternoon. I made that turkey I just showed you. Uh, yeah, a turkey. Oh my, but yeah, so I'm on my way home now. I gotta go get, um, oh, we're gonna go get stuff for my mom and go to the bank. I'm thoroughly pissed by a text that she sent me earlier about the stupid hostess company going out of business because their crazy workers are on strike. Well, I mean, I mean, I'm sure the stuff that they're striking about, there's legitimate reason to strike about, but at the same time, 
they told you if you don't stop, we're going to close. So now look how many people are out of a job. And look at the world is going to be out of freaking Twinkies and Ho-Hos and those damn delicious donut donuts. I'm not happy right now. Like, so so really, what did what did you accomplish? Like, the company went out of business and instead of, or is going out of business instead of your whole strike ploy working out, like, obviously they didn't have the money to pay you. I don't think it was a, they had the money kind of situation, they were being greedy. I think it was probably a, they didn't have the money and they were trying to keep as many people as they could to keep the factory run, factories running. I don't know 100%. I'm just talking, but um, I don't know about anyone watching, but I think if it's either come back from a strike or everyone's going to lose their job, I mean, the people that are in charge and that own the company, they're not going to care because they're going to cash out and probably make money off of it. I mean, you realistically, I mean, if you don't like your job there because of pay cuts or whatever find a different job I mean it's not obviously it's not easy to find a different job but I mean no one's holding a gun to your head also saying you have to stay there I, I don't know I'm very pro suck it up and be responsible for your own actions not boo hoo hoo when things don't go your way I mean yeah it sucks that you're not getting paid as maybe you as much as you want were once were but at the same time you should know being a productive citizen of society that if you do not have a contract that says i make this amount they cannot change it for x amount of days then you're not guaranteed that money that's just my personal opinion on it but I don't know. I I would much rather people have some jobs, even if you have to take some pay cuts. If it's not paying your bills, then obviously you're gonna have to find something else. And I would rather have my freaking Twinkies, and I don't even eat that stuff very often, but they are freaking delicious. Those donuts is what I'm gonna be the most upset about. <sighs> Frustrating. So now all these people are out of jobs, so you're just SOL. What, what did striking do? I mean, usually, yeah, striking will get you something, but... Not if the company is like, hey, we can't stay in business. So, that being said, I'm gonna go get my mom's car so I can go to the bank. They do not have any Twinkies, but even better. I can't believe that they're gonna be gone. You need to go out and get them because they are amazing before they're gone forever. How do you feel about the Twinkies being gone? <laughs> she doesn't approve. These are better, but they're gonna disappear too. I think the world is out of Twinkies. They don't have them at Walmart. Hey, what are you doing? What are you getting? Oh, frustration. So I'm on my way to Tiffany's house. You probably can't even see me. Maybe, but um, yeah. So I am decided to head over there for the weekend. Just so I have something to do. Yeah. Look, light. But yeah, so I'm headed over there. Figured. I didn't really have anything else to do, so that would give me something to do. So I'm driving. I can't wait to see her. I don't like being apart. Like, it sucks. I wish we lived together again. I've got to find a job so I can get back to normal, normal life. Hi. Hello. Did I get a hug? I can't even see you. It's so dark. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you now. Are you? It's been so long since I saw you. It was last week. Huh? It was last week. So long ago. <laughs>